Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, October 24th. I did not have a chance this weekend to get the weekly video update out, so I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. We've got about seven minutes before the market opens Monday morning. And just taking a look at the S&P from last week, had a little bit of a bounce uh, Monday and Tuesday, trailed back, and then big update Friday. I think we're going to continue on. In fact, uh, stock's up a little bit pre-market here, so we'll see if we get a continuation up in stocks. Looking at gold, uh, gold kind of back and forth, notes and bonds continuing to slide lower. Uh, oil uh, kind of sideways, choppy last week. Natty gas uh, getting a little bounce this morning, but some, some decent downside over the last week or so. Uh, and then Bitcoin just kind of chopping around under 20,000. So let's go over uh, I'm not going to do it in full detail here, but just kind of going over some of our trades. And then I will just jump over to the platform and show our current position. So we've got SPX uh, on, on Monday last week. We put on a new TGIF in, SPI, in SPX with four days in the front, seven in the back. Did a new TGIF in the queues with three days and six. Uh, these are all ones that we closed out with one day to expiration. On one of our SPX trades, closed half of it in just one day, booked over 20%. So if you get profits that quick, you got to just take some chips off the table. Then the very next day, it was still only Wednesday, uh, booked over 40% on that portion. And so had just a couple left to hold until one day to expiration. And then on Thursday, we closed our remaining six on that one, booked over 28% there on our second SPX one. Booked over 33% on that portion. Uh, and then our TGIF and QQQ uh, booked uh, 50 of the 90 contracts for over 21%. We opened up a new TGIF and NDX, which I'll show you. Uh, we closed our remaining TGIF in the queues. Um, took us, oh yeah, uh, that's when price just ripped on us. So we ended up taking a small loss on the remaining contracts, uh, but we're profitable on the trade overall. Added a new TGIF and SPX that I'll show you, and also closed one of our monster calendars in QQQ. So let's go to the platform. I'll show you our calendar positions. We've got one in NDX, hanging out right here in the middle. Got one in SPX. Uh, the market's getting ready to open, so this PL line gets a little goofy sometimes. So it's it's hanging out in the upper end of the range. And then we've got our monster in the queues, which we've, we haven't been in this very long. We're already up about 6% or so on that one. So good, uh, good positions with our calendars at this point. Taking a look at our butterfly trades. Let's go to Monday, which is the 17th. Here we go. So we added a new flathead woodpecker in Natty Gas. Uh, we did a, uh, an adjustment in our oil woodpecker. Uh, closed half of our contracts on our IWM. Added a new uh, flathead woodpecker in rut with a short call vertical. Uh, adjusted our Natty Gas. Uh, adjusted our oil again and adjusted our natty gas again. So let's take a look at our butterflies. So in oil, this is what this one looks at this, uh, looks like at this point. So we actually adjusted when it got down to the bottom, lower end of the range, adjusted again when it got to the top, really flattened out our P&L line. So really just looking for some nice theta decay to happen and for price to kind of stabilize uh, natty gas. Uh, we've done a couple different adjustments on this. Price is hanging out right here. So this is kind of the structure of what this looks like. Again, just kind of really flattening that P&L line, looking for some uh, choppiness to, to get, let that theta decay. Uh, IWM. Looking for a little downside in stock so we can start adding some more of these in. But we're up uh, another 130 bucks on our remaining 10 contracts in IWM. We've got SPX. Click off those. Uh, price is hanging out up here. So we've already taken off part of this position. So we're up another 344 on our remaining piece. SPY. So this one, 
This one's run higher. So you can see we've got a max buying power usage on this of 3360. We're up, uh, if price moves up a little bit more, we'll be up over 10%. I'm probably not gonna take this off. What I may do is add a far out of the money short call vertical just to add some more credit, add some more theta into this position uh, if, it, if it bounces a little bit more. So that's the plan in SPY. And those are all of our butterflies. Let's go to option selling, then we'll come back to ducks. So on 1017, here we go. All right, so we closed out one of our short strangles in MES. Uh, we just booked a small profit. We just needed to get out. We were only at, we were, at, we we're down to 32 days to expiration. So we want to start closing those out. We also closed out our iron condor in oil, booked a small profit on that one. Uh, rolled down calls on our short strangle in the micro oils. Rolled down calls in one of our ZN short strangles. So um, this one I'll, I'll get to. We're actually going to take this off today. As I mentioned here, this was the last adjustment. Uh, at that point, we're down to 37 days to expiration, and price just keeps moving down. So it's just we're, we're going to have to say uncle on that one and call it a loss, our first short strangle loss of the year. Uh, close 10 of 20 contracts on our UVXY short call vertical. Booked a nice profit there. Over 50% of max profit on that. Uh, rolled down calls on our other ZN short strangle. We're still in good shape on that one. Uh, then we, there's the opening bell. Closed our remaining 10 contracts on our UVXY. We booked over 80% of max profit on that one. Uh, closed uh, one of our short strangles. Booked over 50% of initial credit. That was one of our MES short strangles. And then we added another short strangle in ZN. Still have some really nice elevated IV, so selling some more premium there. So let's take a look at our, um, well, we've got uh, SMH is one of our short strangles. Come on, Toss. Give us an update. There we go. So we're, uh, we're up about 30% of initial credit. Um, so not, not quite enough takeoff, but we're dead centered. So just waiting that one for, uh, more time decay going over to our other options selling. Here's our short strangle in MCL. So we've got, uh, we're in good shape on this one. Price is hanging out right here. We've already rolled the calls down once. Uh, so a little bit more profit and we will be good to go there. In MES, we've got two positions left. This one here, we're pretty close to break even after adjustments on that one. And on this one, we have not adjusted yet and price is still hanging out fairly centered. Then on ZN, so here's the one that we need to close. Oh, my toss is grinding so slow this morning. Wait for it to catch up. We were getting a little bit of a bounce pre-market in the note, so I was hoping we'd we'd get out of this uh, at a decent spot. I guess this is the right one. Okay, so here's one of them. Uh, this is the most recent one that we just put on, so we haven't made any adjustments to that one yet. Then we've got this one. This one's still in good shape as well. We've rolled up the puts on that, rolled down the calls on that. Uh, still fairly centered on that one. And then this is the one that we need to take off. This is the one that only has 32 days to expiration. And we've, we've, uh, we've pushed out of range. We've rolled down our calls three times. If you look at a chart of notes, I mean, this is just really hard. I mean, there's just nothing you can do to defend something like this. It just keeps going down and down and down. Had a little bit of a bounce there, but just, just almost straight down. So I was hoping to get a little bit of a bounce into today. We started a bounce Friday. We actually started a bounce pre-market. Now it's coming back down. So we will end up just closing that one out. We've also got a short strangle in GLD. Take a drink of my morning, Joe. Um, we're in good shape here. We have not adjusted that one yet up about 150 bucks there. 
And then lastly, UVXY. We've got a long put vertical here in UVXY, which we are up about 175 bucks on. Let's go to our ducks. So just two trades in the ducks. We closed out our duck in SPY, built a beak profit. That thing ran higher really quick, so we just got out. And then we added a new iron duck in SPX. So we've still got two in the queues. Here's one of them. Uh, this one has an 11-1 expiration. You can see here's the expected move. So it's pretty low chance that it's going to get back to the duck head. We might leave, uh, we'll probably close that one. And then this one we'll leave on, which has a 1027 expiration. But we still have a chance of getting into the duck head on that one. We've got one in rut. Price is hanging out right here in the beak. And then we've got one in SPX. And this one is hanging out right here in the beak as well. So nothing to do on those. If we get some more downside in stocks, we'll look to add some. But for now, we're just going to manage our current ducks. And then lastly, NTT. So I've got four positions on, three shorts, and uh, one long. I don't know why Toss is moving so slow this morning, but here's, uh, uh, I've got to sell the rip in oil. So looking for some more downside in oil. got a long in the Dow, which I did on a counter trend by the dip. It doesn't show here, but it actually pushed down. It was touching the candles when I got in. Nice rip higher. So I've got one contract left on that. I've scaled out of that one. And then um, Bitcoin. I'm short Bitcoin on a sell the rip. Now the candle just flipped back to green today. So if it stays green, I will close it. If it pushes lower and stays re and turns red, I will keep it. And then lastly, I am short gold on a sell the rip. So it's starting to come down today. Uh, I got in when price was down here, so I'm still a little bit down on this trade. Pushed up further, but now it's starting to come down. So looking for some more downside in gold. So that's it, my friends. Those are all the positions. Uh, sorry for the delay getting this out this week. Uh, but hope everybody has a great week of trading. Talk to you soon.